Houston police have been involved in hundreds of chases this year. And now HPD is changing its pursuit policy. KPRC 2's Corley Peel live with why HPD says it's needed. Corley? Mm -hmm. Yeah, police chases are up roughly 26% this year, and that's according to Chief Finner. And I spoke with a woman whose husband was killed as an innocent bystander to a police chase. She says she's glad to see these revisions are being made, but she feels they're long overdue. Nearly two years since Janice Jackson's husband, Michael Jackson, was killed as an innocent bystander in a police chase, and she feels like she's still living a nightmare. It's been a trying time for us. So far this year, HPD says it's made roughly 1300 pursuits, averaging five pursuits a day that last over six minutes. HPD says those pursuits ended with 172 injuries and four deaths. Three of the deaths were suspects. One was an innocent woman. Jackson has some relief knowing HPD has now revised its vehicle pursuit policy. It's a very good thing that they are doing this, but it should have been the policy should have been changed years ago. HPD says certain crimes will no longer be pursued if a suspect refuses to stop for an officer. Those include Class C misdemeanors, traffic or municipal warrants, and nonviolent misdemeanor warrants. Doesn't mean when we choose not to uh, pursue that we're giving up on the suspect of bringing him in justice or him or her into to justice. We're not. We can be smart and we can arrest them at a later date. Jackson says her husband was walking on the sidewalk when an officer hit him with his cruiser after losing control while chasing a carjacking suspect. Carjacking is a crime that could still warrant a pursuit, but the policy states officers must evaluate the risk of injury when chasing a suspect. You can't bring their loved ones back. Jackson hopes the revised policy keeps other families from living her nightmare. And Chief Finner also mentioned that they've redacted some of their tactics for how they plan to stop pursuits more efficiently. He says they don't want to reveal that information because they don't want to give suspects the upper hand. Reporting live, Corley Peel, KPRC 2 News. All right, Corley.